Hi, it's Paul for Model Build International again. Don't forget to subscribe. The link is down there. Uh, that way you'll get notified about uh, future reviews, builds when I get the time, and competitions. And you might want to subscribe for competitions that might come up as we get closer to Christmas. Yes, that was a hint. Uh, so today we're going to go have a quick look at a new decal sheet from Life Like Decals. This is a 132nd P51 Part 3, all about Big Beautiful Doll. Okay, so let's have a look, see what we get inside the bag. So just open it up. It's one of those deck sheets with plenty of space inside the bag, which is pretty neat. So we get, so look here, there's, there's four deck sheets. I'll look at those in a minute. And the instructions. Um, the big beautiful doll was actually uh, just two aircraft. Uh, 1944-45, um, all piloted by John Landers, and obviously there's six different versions here. Uh, recommended for the Tamiya Revel P51D. Um, this is this is in 132nd scale, and it's basically the third 132nd um, P51 sheet. And we'll do a review of the fourth sheet in a little bit. Um, one thing I do like about Lifelike Decals is they put their email address and website on the front here. Basically they want to hear from you, even a phone number. Um, if you have more information or um, questions about the scheme, they want to hear from you and engage with the community. So inside here we have, there is two full sheets. There's nothing on the back side of them, but there's Two full sheets in colour. This obviously is the um, port side. Uh, top and bottom views as needed to get the six options correct for the things that are on the tops of the wings and the bottoms of the wings. Um, 18 references used and they're listed here so you can see where they've got all the information from. Uh, Lifelike does a lot of good historical research um, when they're making their decal sheets. Um, and there's also pits here, please use stencil marks of the kit decals and paint black bands on tail. So there's there's notes about um, you know exactly where you're going to get all these decals from. And then on the other sheet here, um, details port side view again of and also starboard side of the nose of the aircraft so you can get that that correct. Everything's clearly identified. Um, some historical background of um, the exact dates where each of the markings were used. And the first aircraft had block treaded main wheels, the second aircraft had diamond treaded main wheels. And a bit of history about, um, about John Landers as well in there. So there's lots of detail here about little subtle paint changes when things like the invasion stripes went on and came off. Um, so basically, you can choose a date, um, basically from August 1944 to the end of the war in Europe, and the information in here will allow you to get the aircraft exactly right for that particular date, which is pretty neat. And then the small sheet here is all the stencils that go on, and the numbers for those. So now I'll put up the decal sheets themselves, all four from one after the other. Um, as you can see, the decals are done by um, two are done, or one's done by Cartograph, the, the one with the fancy script and the fine details. It's done by Cartograph, and the other three are done by Microscale, Microscale in the USA. Um, Surrounding backing film is next to nothing. Can't even see it apart from on uh, on the text and numbers where you obviously use that to line it, keep everything lined up. Um, the decals are put taped together with a piece of tape on the back just so they're not floating around loose inside the sheet and could get um, could get the edges damaged otherwise. 
Um, but the deco sheets themselves look really good. Nice bright colours we needed. Different shades on the stars and bars. Um, so everything looks really nice. Um, so all in all, it should be a very, very colourful decal sheet um, or very colourful decals on the aircraft. Um, there's, I think I counted up earlier. There's enough stencils for um, for one aircraft. If you use stencils and stars and bars from uh, from the kits in places, you could actually do all of the uh, all six options. Um, yeah, using six kits and the and the decals that will come with those kits plus this set as well. Should you want all six options on your shelf, that is. All in all, another well researched and nicely detailed set from um, Lifelike Decals. Um, there's a link to their website underneath this video and on the main article on the website as well. So there's there's a link underneath this video to their uh, to their website. And it's pretty reasonably priced as well. I think at the moment the exchange rate is put it at about just over fifteen dollars plus shipping, which is pretty neat. So, so uh, many thanks to Lifelike Decals for sending it along for us to have a look at. <laughs>